What's up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt and we're going to cover everything you need to know about Season 6 in under 5 minutes. But before we get into that, to celebrate the new season we're launching a brand new Pro Guides giveaway. We're giving away a year of Pro membership, allowing you to experience exclusive Pro Guides content like the incredible Clicks Masterclass for a year. We're giving away 4 VOD reviews that allow you to level your gameplay up fast. Finally, we're giving away an exclusive Pro Guides shirt so you can look good while you're dominating the new Primal Island. Hit the link in the description to enter the giveaway. Now, onto the changes. First up, the overall mechanical changes to this season of Fortnite. The pump is back in the game. You'll be able to pick up this fan favourite at Uncommon through Legendary Rarities, alongside the Revolver. Meanwhile, the Snipers and Heavy ARs have gone into the Vault. But you shouldn't worry too much about those Vaulted items, because there are a whole bunch of new items coming to the game that you can actually craft in your new inventory with animal bones and mechanical parts. The makeshift rifle, shotgun, submachine gun and a whole bunch of powerful primal variants have been added to the game. Who knows how they're going to impact the meta. Some of those items are bows with different elemental effects, one of which will light things on fire, another will act like a stink bomb, a third will act like a shockwave and a fourth will do explosive damage. That brings me nicely to the next topic, animals. There are now animals roaming around on the Fortnite island, ranging from wolves to boars and even chickens. Each of these animals can do different things, other than being fodder for your primal weapons. To tame wolves and later raptors that are yet to hatch from eggs, feed them some meat that can be obtained from the chickens or boars. They'll be able to knock down or even eliminate your enemies. Boars can also be tamed to do the same thing, while chickens can be grabbed onto so you can fly with them as if you have low gravity. Finally, there's the frogs. These can be killed for their stink sacks so you can craft things like the stink bow. There's also two new types of fish, the cuddlefish and the stinkfish. Gold bars are sticking around, as are NPCs. There's a whole bunch of new NPCs that you can claim challenges from, but the overall gold bar limit has been reduced from 10,000 to 5,000 bars. On the subject of reducing limits, the amount of ammo you can carry has now also been reduced. In the new season, you'll only be able to carry 150 shells, 500 light or medium bullets, and 50 heavy bullets. Previously, all of these were at 999. Zip lines and supply drops have also had small adjustments. Your uphill speed has been increased on zip lines, while your downhill speed has been decreased. Meanwhile, the supply drops will now only drop once per zone. There's also a new type of chest called bunker chests that have now been added to the game. These primal chests will contain powerful weapons that can range from rare to legendary, including things like rocket launchers. Okay, next up to discuss is the changes to the Fortnite map. Just like last season, the majority of the changes have centered on the center of the map, and feature changes to some of the last season's biggest locations. The deserts have been shifted by the reality waves and turned into a primal landscape, with trails snaking out across the wider map. At the centre of all of this is the Spire, surrounded by a little town. Colossal Colosseum has been transformed into a farm and is now Colossal Crops. Meanwhile, Salty Towers has become the Bony Burbs, a much more primal version of Tilted. There are some other smaller changes throughout the map. Basically, anything in the brown areas will have been affected by the reality waves in some way, and at the far edges of the primal biome are the Guardian Spires, and they're protected by this season's version of the IO Guards. As the course of the season unfolds, new technological advancements will make their way to the primal island. There'll be new weapons and new upgrades, including attachments for your vehicles like the Chonkers tyre set that will let you drive off-road easier. But for now, that's everything we've got in today's update. What are your thoughts on Season 6? Better or worse than your first impressions of Season 5? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe with the bell so you can be notified of all our stories, analysis and tips videos. For now, I've been Matt, this was Season 6, and I'll see you all in the next one.